Hey guys, it's Kylie and today I have a video. This is my experience pin trading with other guests at Walt Disney World. So when pin trading, you can either just trade with the cast members or you can bring your pins and try to trade with other guests. Um, one of the things that scared me about the thought of pin trading with other guests was the fact that they can say no to the trade if they don't see any pins in your collection that they like but you really like a pin in theirs, they can still say no. Where cast members, if you find a pin you like, they have to say yes and they have to give it to you. So that part freaked me out. The other part that freaked me out is just like going up to somebody and saying, hey, can I look at your pins and hey, can I trade for them? Versus cast members, it's kind of, that's their job. Their job is to look at them. Where these people are just standing around and they want you to come up and look, but for me, it was kind of scary to almost go up to some of the people. They freaked me out a little bit. Um, I also have a really small collection compared to these people, like they had books, like my big book that's barely filled, um, they had multiple of those filled with pins, or they had huge cork boards filled with pins all just to trade, where that's like my whole collection, not just my traders, I only have a few traders, so that part freaked me out. Um, I The people were standing outside of the pin station at Epcot, um, and I kept debating, do I want to go do it, do I want to go do it, so we went to the land to go on Soren, and when we got out I decided I'm just gonna do it so I put, organized all my pins in my pin book made them look all nice made it look like I just like they were all together versus I had them in a little bag that I was trading with and I decided I got the guts and I went up to pin trade with them and all the people I met were wicked nice um, they were willing to trade they most of them knew what was a fair trade so if I was trading I had a lot of Star Wars limited edition pins from the cruise, so they were all limited edition, like 3,000, and they knew that if I'm trading a limited edition pin for a limited edition pin, that's fair, or if I'm trading a limited edition for, a, and I wanted a couple, I just wanted Chip and Dale, so a couple open edition Chip and Dale, they knew that was fair trade, so I enjoyed that they were reasonable. Also, my, most of the people, because they could tell that it was like my first time trading with other people, they knew that I shouldn't let people, they were telling me not to let people um, take advantage of me, and if people wanted to trade for like my limited edition pin for one open edition pin I should tell them no and were giving me confidence on the trade so experiencing meeting the people was very nice um, by the end of pin trading with these people I even got a little like bargaining so one guy was trying to trade me one of my limited edition Star Wars ones for just one limited release pin and I said I realized that it wasn't exactly a fair trade so I also asked for one of his open edition chip pins so I decided that that was a fair trade and that I was willing to trade that so I was able even able to get get up the guts to bargain with them a little bit by the end um, I also um, would highly suggest this um, if you're new to pin trading and you don't have a lot of pins you could go buy some um, when limited edition pins are released if you go buy an extra extras of them people are willing to trade those or if you buy some online there's plenty of websites out there that people sell their collection make sure that they're not scrappers when you're buying people's collections and that they're not just trying to sell you wicked cheap pins um but if you have the pins and you i would highly re recommend getting the guts and going to talk to these people they are friendly they all love pin trading just like you do and they have pins that you wouldn't be able to find on the cast lanyards most of them have pins from to some of them had tokyo hong kong pins or even just pins that are people aren't willing to trade for to the lanyards because they're not really getting a good pin if they trade it to the lanyards where if they have a limited edition pin they'll keep it and trade it for with other people so they can get a limited edition pin back for it so i would highly recommend getting the guts up going to talk to these people you'll find them outside at Epcot usually are, they have like tables set up and they'll have their or on like the wall around there that where like the fountain is and stuff they'll have their pin books laid out or pin boards out and they're nice people to talk to and they're willing to trade and most of them are willing to give you their pins and want you to get pins for your collection and they want pins for their collection so I would recommend going to do it um, I hope you got joys guys enjoyed watching this video and found it interesting um i will see you tomorrow i'm posting every day in december at two o'clock remember to like subscribe turn on your notifications and see you guys later bye